Hi, let's look at more examples on this topic. So here's the question. It says in the figure side QR of triangle PQR. So if we have this triangle triangle PQR, the side QR is produced to S, this point S. Then there are two angle bisectors that we know of. There is an angle bisector of angle PQR, which is PQR. This whole angle, angle PQR, is bisected by QT. Also, angle PRS here is bisected. And the two bisectors go and meet at this point, point T. We are supposed to prove that angle QTR which is this particular angle, angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. So QPR, this angle. So we are supposed to prove that this apex angle is half of this particular angle. Let's see how we can go about this one. So first of all, we know that QT bisects angle PQR. That would just mean that the two angles formed PQT and TQR are equal to one another. I can also say that angle PQR will be equal to two times of angle TQR. Do you agree? Because this angle is equal to this angle. So the total angle, angle PQR will be two times of this particular angle, which is half of PQR, right? Great. We also know that TR bisects angle PRS. So TR bisects angle PRS and this would imply that angle PR S is equal to 2 times angle TRS. Since this particular angle is equal to this angle, so angle PRS would be equal to 2 times of this particular angle right here. Great. Now let's look at certain triangles that are being formed here. So what is the first triangle that we see? The first triangle has been given to us. That is triangle P Q R. So in triangle P Q R, we know that angle P R S is the external angle. And we know that an external angle, which is angle P R S is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. That means angle PRS, this full angle, would be equal to this particular angle plus this particular angle. That is angle PQR plus angle QPR. Now we look at what do we have to prove. We are given this particular condition to prove that angle QTR is equal to half of angle QPR. So we have angle QPR here. So let's find out the value of angle QPR from this equation. We would have angle QPR is equal to angle PRS minus angle PQR. What did I do? I just took angle PQR to the left hand side and just switched sides so that I have the value of angle QPR which is there on the right hand side in the portion that we have to prove. So we have angle QPR is equal to angle PRS minus angle PQR. Now what is angle PRS? PRS, this one. And I've just written here that angle PRS is nothing but two times angle TRS, TRS. So I can replace the value of angle PRS by two times of angle T. R S just because T R is the bisector of that angle, angle P R S. I put the minus sign which is already here. What is angle P Q R? 
we saw that angle PQR is nothing but two times angle TQR. So we have two times angle TQR instead of angle PQR here. Now you must be wondering why did I take only angle TRS and TQR and why not this angle PRT or PQT. Now when I was writing these two conditions here, I had something in mind. I had thought of this particular triangle, triangle Q, T, R. If you look at this triangle, then in this triangle, angle T, R, S is the external angle, this one, right? Which is why I took this angle instead of the other part of the bisected angle. And also here I took this part angle TQR instead of angle PQT because this part is a part of this particular triangle, triangle TQR, which is why I took these two parts. Now once I have this condition where I have angle QPR equal to two times of angle TRS minus two times of angle TQR. On the right hand side, you can see I can just take out the two common and I would have angle TRS minus angle TQR. Now we have this condition that angle QPR, QPR is equal to two times of angle TRS, TRS minus angle T Q R. Now here, let's just look at triangle T Q R. This particular triangle right here. So in triangle T Q R, I know that angle T R S is an external angle. And the value of an external angle is equal to the sum of the internal opposite angles. So this angle plus this angle right here would be equal to this particular external angle. So that would mean angle TRS would be equal to angle TQR plus angle QTR. Is that correct? TQR this one plus angle QTR this one. So I can replace the value of TRS here let this be equation 2. So I can replace the value of TRS from equation 2 in this particular equation 1. So what would I get? I would get angle QPR would be equal to 2 times of angle instead of angle TRS I am writing this value TQR plus angle QTR then the rest of it was minus angle TQR, right? This here is TQR. So I see that angle TQR here is positive and here it's negative. So I can just cancel these two out. And what I would have remaining is angle QPR is equal to two times angle QTR. Now I think this is what we had to prove. When QPR is equal to two times angle QTR, I could just take this two on this left hand side and it would become one by two. That means angle QTR would be equal to one by two times angle QPR. Hence proved. So that's your question there. Whenever we have questions like these, we have to just look at what do we have to prove. Something like this, right? And then figure out how do you get these two angles? There are certain triangles right here. Try and figure out how can you relate these two triangles to these particular angles and then just go about writing certain equations and finally you'll have your answer. Now one trick that could come in handy when you are doing all these to prove type questions is that you have to do as much writing as you can. Try and write out relationships. There'll be certain which won't work out. That's okay. Let them be. 
but there will be so many which would work out and you could have your proof within minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this chapter on lines and angles. It forms the basic of your geometry and would be used a lot hereafter. Happy learning.